This is Chris Thomas and I'm just going live today in the back seat of my son's car we're driving back to Nashville and so I wanted to just come on to be available to answer any questions for anyone hey Andy so land flipping 101 is where you can learn how to earn your financial freedom through land investing even if you're a complete beginner with no experience Today I really don't have a specific agenda. I would just like to hear from you, so type in your questions related to getting started in the land investing business. Hey Kimberly, that's awesome. So I'm based in Nashville, Tennessee, where I've been a real estate investor since 1999. I'm an entrepreneur at heart. My husband and I ran a business together for 17 years until it was sold in 2018. Hey Joseph, best data provider for land. I mean, I like DataTree, but you need a one year subscription to DataTree. So I use Priced for my data now because all of my property is, that I purchase is five acres or more. And I think Priced does an excellent job pricing mailers for, for five acres and higher. Um, if you're doing infill lots, you know, I probably wouldn't wouldn't want to use priced at least not yet they're still making some improvements so keep watching it but I think they do a great job on five acres or more hope that helps uh, so I've managed and owned uh, and I own single-family home rentals I've done fix and flip properties I've invested in tax foreclosure properties through auctions in Florida and uh, that's just some of my background Hey, jo is it Johanna? Hello. My listing source, please. Are you asking where I list properties for sale? Um, not sure what you're asking there, Johanna. Brandon, hey, do I need a realtor to post my properties under contract on the MLS in Florida? No, you can use a, you can use a flat fee service that person who will sign you up, I think it's about $100, um, that person who signs you up is a realtor, and so they're able to put it on the MLS for you. The paperwork and all that stuff. Um, one service you could check is brokerless.com. I really like them. I think they're $99. I use them. flat fee MLS and then the, and then the state of Florida and that would probably help you hope that helps hi David Marsh I have a multifamily lot in Jupiter and have not found a buyer willing to JV with someone who brings a buyer I love it always working the deal uh, I'll be happy to take a look at it I do fund deals so uh, you could send me an email to uh, christhomasland at gmail.com. That's my personal email address. I am just driving down I-65 between Kentucky and Nashville. Uh, I know I'm going to run into a spot soon where I'm going to run out of internet, so I won't be on here a whole long time. But if I don't finish up and there's still questions, I'll come back on again after I pass through it. Hey, Tom Ramey. Where can I find an assignment contract? <laughs> uh, well, you could probably Google assignment contract and you could probably get one. Hey, Candace Purcell. Okay, Andy, I see your question. How do I make the best offers on the land or lot? Well, Andy, that's a question of how to do comps. And you just want to go in like to Zillow and look at comparable properties like in my case I like to buy five acres or more so let's say I have a six acre property I'll go into the county or the city really where the property is located and I'll just look at what sold in the last six months that's five to ten acres in size and I'll come up with like a per acre price for the for the lot and then I'll apply that per acre price 
to the number of acres I have. Um, so I guess it's kind of a situational thing as far as what, what your property is, but you're just looking at like kind properties that have recently sold in the area and you kind of get an idea. You can take an average, you can take everything from Zillow, Redfin, um, you know, anywhere where land is being bought and sold, you can find the, uh, the sold parcels for that area. So I did have a closing on Tuesday. It was a five acre parcel, which I purchased for 34,000 and I sold it this week for 75,000, which was a $41,000 profit. I mean, minus closing costs and overhead costs for mailing and subscriptions. But this was a five acre lot on the outskirts of a large city and it was positioned next to a state park. And so the Department of Conservation at the state level expressed interest in the parcel and agreed to purchase it for a per acre price. They sent out a surveyor and paid for that and they conducted an environmental study at their expense. So um, they also were able to close in like three weeks and you, <laughs> I couldn't believe that. You may wonder why, why were they able to close so quickly? I mean, this is the government after all. The state agreed to allow the property to be sold to a nonprofit with a mission to conserve parklands in their state. So, you know, later on the nonprofit will sell it to the state, you know, after all the bureaucratic red tape has been cut, <laughs> which will probably take about four months. I mean, but this was a great deal for me. I didn't have to wait for the state to get its 10,000 approvals, um, but it didn't start off this way. Because at first they, they asked me if I would wait the four months to close. And, but since I sell my properties at like 75% of the retail market value for just a fast sale, you know, there's a built-in motivator for people to buy quickly. And one of my strategies has always been to only accept a contract to sell if the buyer agrees to no contingencies and to close ASAP. So this is what I conveyed to the state. And, uh, you know, given that they were motivated but constrained by the, the slow cogs of government, um, this was the solution they provided, and you know, I jumped on it. I mean, it was 121% return on investment. I mean, where else can you make 121% on your money in just a few months? And I, I mean, I'm working online from anywhere. I mean, today I'm, I'm in a car driving down the highway. As long as I have my laptop and my hotspot, I can work. Oh.